What's up guys, it's Cameron. Um, I wanted to jump in and show you guys how I do product research. A lot of you have been asking about it and you know, you, you'll you do the same things I'm doing but for some reason you're not, they're not loading correctly for you or something so um, I'm talking about FBM Fox specifically-ish. Um, they have their own tutorial on their YouTube channel but it kind of leaves some things unsaid um, so if you don't do it perfectly, it's not gonna work out how it's supposed to for now. Um, FBM Fox is growing all the time. They're constantly tweaking it and changing it. Um, so it's crazy that even at its small stage, it has this much stuff, I think, in my opinion. But the biggest thing is the product research for me, and I'm gonna walk you through that. So let's get into it. All right, so again, the reason I wanna do this is just because basically, if you don't do it, exactly the right way like if you tweak with stuff too much it's not gonna do it properly so for now I'm gonna show you kind of the workarounds and just a full walkthrough if you've never even touched it on how to use the product research tool for FBM Fox alright so we're in eBay and I just searched toaster now the whole point of how this works is that we we, we go to eBay right and we find sellers on eBay who are selling hit products or just top selling products. So where you type in something it, like, you know, let's say I have an idea, I typed in toaster, and now I wanna find somebody who is selling a toaster that sells really well so that I can take that product, sell it on Facebook, because if it's selling well here, it's probably gonna sell well on Facebook too. Cause we're just taking just general traffic and assuming that same type of traffic's similar on Facebook. You can't guarantee anything of course, but it's just better bet than guessing completely. So I typed in toaster, if you didn't know, cause I just told you for like the third or fourth time. But um, I found this toaster. I checked this one first because it was the first one, but it was sold by Best Buy. I'm not looking for actual companies. I'm looking for drop shippers. Keep that in mind. So I click on this, this person right here. Here, let me delete this cause I already tested this out for you so you didn't waste any time because yeah anyway here's a toaster cool this person obviously a drop shipper because it's not a company name it's just a random username let's copy it paste it that's what you gotta do you gotta copy their name from the seller information and paste it in the save seller box so that it matches you can just type it into you don't have to copy paste it and then you have to hit save seller you can't just go to their seller page and start sorting information. You have to save it to your FBM Fox account, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back up here to my FBM Fox profile. Here's my list of sellers that I've researched. I mean, there's no cool information there, but now that it's saved, I'm gonna refresh my sellers page. And there at the bottom, there's MASW, yeah, whatever that username is. I'm gonna click it and it's gonna go to their page. Boom, there's my toaster that I'm looking for. I'm hoping that it's gonna say that it's a great seller, but it's also gonna search all their products, at least on this first page. It's gonna search all the products on this page. Now, we use the extension to do this. There's a research section in your extension. I want it to have a minimum of 15 sales, and I want it to have a maximum of six competitors on eBay. So this is just some criteria to filter it down. Now. Don't mess with on the side where it says categories and you can start to filter things on the eBay side so that you can narrow down your products. Don't mess with that for now. That will actually prevent the Chrome extension from working because then you're changing the URL. The Chrome extension is working off of the URL or at least just the page that it opened up for you. Um, and I've noticed that if I try to narrow down on that side, it's not gonna it's not gonna work the same. So go to your Chrome extension, type in your criteria, and hit search. Now, a lot of the times you'll see little blue loading bars here, sometimes you don't, but we're gonna scroll down and what we're looking for is one of these to turn green. And would you look at that, my toaster's green. It has 20 sales and two competitors. That is great for me. That's exactly what I wanted. Now on this first page, let's just see if there's anything else that is great sellers. Sometimes there'll be like 10 of these things that turn green and I just go save, 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 and you can just save the items. 
But right now, okay, there's a lot of bedding stuff. I don't know why he's just got a random ass toaster in the middle of his bedding stuff. But anyway, or she, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to save the item. All right, you don't have to really type anything in like you did for the, the actual seller profile. But what's cool now is let's say, you know, I could have saved 20 of these things, but I just have the one, but I want to list it now. So let's list it. So go here. And on your lister, all you got to do is hit go to Facebook. Pretty cool. Opens it up, which is super convenient. Sorry, I'm thinking. That's why I'm all slow right now. Now, there's this little drop down menu. You have to make sure you're on the lister tab. Usually it auto defaults to open there once you go to your extension. Drop down menu. Here's things that you have saved. These two football ice molds are not things that I just saved. They're things that I saved a pre previous time that I just haven't listed yet. So don't worry about those. We're going to go down and find the thing we just saved, so which is the toaster. I'm going to use, because I have a template set up. You don't have to have a template set up, but on your account, you can set up, you know, this is my 50% profit template. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And it just shows that I hide from my friends. Here's the price that I want in a markup, um, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, list selected. Boom. A little quicker than Z drop, I might say. I like that. Anyway, there is my stuff all listed. Okay, let's go check. 50 bucks, 75 bucks. That's about a 50% markup. Love that. I'm going to do what I always do, and I'm going to copy the description and paste it here so I can see it in full. I'm going to take out free shipping out of the title. Um, professional series four slice stainless steel wide slot toaster. Sweet. I am going to still, I'm going to keep all those keywords, but I'm going to copy the first two and put them at the end because I want four slice to be in the beginning. And I'm actually going to put this I'm gonna copy the wide slot toaster part and put it right behind four slice because I want somebody in the beginning of the title to see that it's a damn toaster because previously toaster was at the end of the of the whole title it's like I want somebody to know like duh it's a toaster the picture's gonna tell them that but I need I need their brain to keep piecing those those dots together or whatever whatever you'd call it so four slice wide slot toaster stainless steel professional series I don't really care what order the rest of it is as long as those keywords are in there. I'm going to copy paste that control A and then control V right over that. So where boom, four slice wide slot toaster is the main stuff that's going to pop up no matter what category. And you'll notice for those of you who are new or for those of you who are maybe even experienced and haven't noticed this, a lot of people's pages are different. So if you notice that a button's in their different in a different spot on yours, or if you know your stuff is act your page is acting differently than mine that's fine so a lot of the times and I used to have this when you'd load pictures in here Facebook would kind of auto predict what categories to suggest to you like it would know like probably kitchen appliances or if toasters a category it would know that and it would put little buttons down here mine doesn't do that anymore it used to but it doesn't but I know I watched a video the other day where I noticed that other accounts were still doing that. I'm like, oh, okay. I just thought it was a standard thing. Some people save buttons are down here. Some like mine's up here. It's just totally different on different accounts. I don't know if it has to do with like your updated browser or what kind of computer you have. I have no clue, but I think some accounts, I have two accounts and both of them have different options. So I don't know, but luckily we can type things. Luckily toaster is its own category. I'm going to go ahead and use toaster condition new. Brand, I'm not gonna mess with brand. You know what? I'm gonna type in toaster as the brand. Don't know if that helps. Cool. Now, FBM Fox, when it auto lists, depending on how good the person listed things on eBay. Cool. I mean, the you can just use their description, but if that person who made the description completely like put a bunch of extra stuff in there then you're going to have an issue and you need to go through and just kind of clean it up a little bit. 
So I am just making sure that these bullet points are at least organized. I'm going to delete the after sales service part. Um, yep. Cool. Yeah, see, there's just so many extra spaces in here. And I'm actually going to delete the rest of it. I want it to be that simple. And screw it. We will do free shipping. Now, before we post this, what's actually cool about the extension is that it shows you this bestseller for this, this product for this seller. This says was $131. Who knows? What in theory, what you should actually be doing with this. I just wanted to show you quickly how to list and find a product with it. Ideally, what you want to do and the purpose of this is for you to find a product on eBay, but then figure out where they're buying it possibly if you want to do the extra step because you can probably find it for cheaper at a different place because they're probably drop shipping it from another place to eBay. So chances are this thing might be cheaper somewhere else. I'm just gonna do a quick thing on Amazon. I'm just gonna search it here and just verify and we're gonna go ahead and remove the free shipping part because that's pointless. But I just wanna see if I can see the same exact toaster at a, at a quick glance. So let's see, it's got these two things, buttons on the side, dials on the side. Okay, I'm not seeing it super obvious from the title. So that's okay. They definitely are getting it from somewhere else, but who knows? Um, let me just search it through Walmart really quick. Again, take off the free shipping. We're just basically double checking to make sure we can't get it cheaper anywhere else because who cares as long as we found a good selling product if you can get it cheaper go for it okay for the sake of the video that's as much research as i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and keep it listed from ebay but if you found it on amazon you can do the same thing you can save the item on amazon and list through your extension and the cool part is that we're not even talking about in this video is that FBM Fox will actually save the product on a list and it will auto update the pricing and auto track and see whether or not it's out of stock and change it on your Facebook profile. Um, so that's going to be the cool part is it keeps track of those things. And when you get an order, it's got an orders tab and you can see all your orders there without even having a spreadsheet for it, which is super awesome. But let's just go ahead and list this product as is from eBay available quantity. I automatically have it set to eight. So that's a new thing. Normally my quantity was up here and now my quantity is down here. Just another thing that's weird that our accounts are all different. Tags, I'm just gonna put toaster. Well, if I could, if I could spell toaster, wide slot for slice, stainless steel. Many of you guys do tags differently than me. If you don't have tags right now, do not worry about that. Some accounts just don't have the tags option. Again, all of our accounts, I feel like they're just rolling out different versions of Marketplace for people and seeing which ones work best for users. So if you don't have tags, don't worry about it. Your account's not dead or anything. You're just, you just have a different version of your selling process. Okay, stainless steel. Um, I'm just gonna type in kitchen, some more broad things small appliance toast bread I don't know my, my tags are usually pretty dumb like that I'm not messing with skew if you have the skew option skew is pretty new for me um, I don't I don't operate things like that I'm gonna go ahead and hit next all right now I've had some more questions about this for those of you just watching me list I've had more and more questions about like how how do I get the shipping label where I don't have to pay for a shipping label? I, they just I put shipping on it. You have to put shipping only. You don't have to put shipping only, but for the sake I only do shipping, and you have to do use your own shipping label. If you do the prepaid one, then what they're gonna have you do is you're gonna pick a thing by weight, and it's gonna you you basically have to actually produce. They're gonna give you a label. And, and it's not you're not actually gonna get the shipping money so use your own label base shipping rate if you're gonna put shipping on it put your shipping totally cool that means that that's just gonna get tacked on to the profit that you get you're not actually gonna have to pay for shipping if you're buying a product that has free shipping on your end so 
that's how that works if that makes sense for the sake of this though I am gonna do zero dollars because in my description over here I did put free shipping um, no additional item fee that's new on this account I don't have that on my other account um, that's I'm assuming if they can sell if they buy multiple of an item that they will tack on an extra charge especially if you had shipping which is why it's under the shipping part but that that means like you know if you really did have shipping for something and the shipping increased in price as you sold more items like somebody bought three it's gonna cost more to ship three of something than it does to ship one of them so that's kinda of what that's for but I don't really use it I'm gonna click the free shipping option again I have this on this account but I never get this box on my other account so another way accounts can be different I'm just saying that so that if you don't see some of these things do not worry as long as you have the shipping option you're good um, we're gonna hit next I never let buyers negotiate because I'm not about to have conversations with people um, and publish and you'll go to my page where I have some other products feel free to list some of these I haven't sold any of these but uh, they don't even have very many views you can see they're just random experiment projects that I was doing so we have listed the toaster and it's in review which means it's all good to go sweet that is basically the FBM Fox product research and lister tool so if you learned anything please like the video and maybe comment if you have any questions or if you have something else about FBM Fox you want me to talk about or even just how I list or, or how to do something and I'll try to get at it in another video but that's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.